everyone at Hatch University. I'm Abby Sansakumar and I'm a fourth year at McMaster University majoring in both communication studies and multimedia. So I chose McMaster because I've always wanted to live in a new city and Hamilton was just an hour away from Toronto where I'm originally from. So it was a great way to, you know, get that freedom and experience a new city, but still be close enough to home and, you know, visit family. I chose multimedia and communications as my program because I've always wanted to go into public relations, marketing, advertising, and social media. Even in high school, I've always had that interest. And what I loved about this program is that I was able to take two programs and do a double major in four years. So it was just the perfect fit for me. And I was able to take those hands-on experiences from multimedia as well as, well as the research-based study from communications and get all of that education in four years. So the university culture was a great experience overall for me. I love the diversity at McMaster. You get to meet so many different people and people from so many different backgrounds and I think that's like the aspect that I enjoyed the most. It's a combination of multiple different types of classes. You start off with lecture style classes with almost you know hundreds of students in one class and then as you get into the program there's more specialized pro uh, classes where you have a smaller class size and it's more tutorials and labs where you apply the information that you've learned in lecture into your projects and i would say the workload is definitely it's heavy because it's a double major and you have a lot of projects and exams that you know coincide with the same dates but it's definitely manageable and i think that Working with your professors and your TAs who have any questions is really crucial and be successful. So my favorite studying tip when studying for exams is actually printing out your notes and reading it off of paper rather than going back on lecture slides. I've always been a very visual learner and I've always loved highlighting and circling and making diagrams and just like just making everything on paper and it just helped me understand and memorize the information better when I'm having exams. So the content that's covered in the multimedia side of the program is we learn a lot about coding, graphic design, photography, video editing, sound design. It's a lot more hands-on skills that we learn in the media lab. Our, our program actually has a multimedia lab where multimedia students get to have a pass and we have 24 access to this lab, which is great. And we have these amazing Apple iMacs and all the Adobe products that we use in class are there for us at whenever we need for our projects. So there's After Effects, there's Adobe Premiere, there's Illustrator, InDesign, Photoshop, anything you can think of, which I think is so great and helpful for those people who don't have it on their personal computers. And in terms of the communications program, the content that we learn is a lot more research-based, interdisciplinary-based program. So we learn more about research and pop culture, we do a lot more analysis, a lot more readings, and there's a lot more text. And we learn about globalization and just political topics even, and how social media affects the world. We learn there's electives such as communications and law. You can learn about public relations. So I think that there's a great variety of material that you learn too. So in first year, you enter a general faculty. So communications and multimedia falls under the humanities faculty. On the application process in the humanities faculty, I do believe you need a 78% average, but that does fluctuate depending on the year and um, the amount of people who apply. The multimedia program is a little bit more competitive because it is limited enrollment, but I do believe for both communications and multimedia, you need a GPA of five to get it accepted. It is good to kind of aim higher just in case the applicant process is extremely large and just uh, you know make sure you have backup program options um, for me I, I put uh, theater and film and political science as my backups but as long as you're successful in attending tutorials and completing your assignments and putting in the most effort that you can in your projects it should not be too difficult for you to get into this program the courses that I would say to take in high school if you're um, planning to come to this university is take as much humanities and social science classes as you can. They come really helpful and handy when you come into university because there's a lot of, of material that you have to read, a lot of concepts that you've probably never heard before. So if you take a couple philosophy, communications, 
um, international business classes. Those are gonna be so helpful once you get into university because you're gonna have that background knowledge and you're not gonna have all this new information thrown at you all at once. So I think taking those type of, types of classes in high school are, is really gonna give you that background information so you can be successful in university. So in terms of the classes that I suggest you take in university, that's all depending on what your specific interest is and you know what you think you'd be successful in. Some of my favorite professors would be Professor Mencheva, Professor Buten, and Professor Harris Goldberg. Those professors in those classes were some of my favorite classes that I've taken in my undergrad journey and I would really recommend you taking any class with them. You're going to be really happy and you're going to really enjoy the material that you learn. So in terms of the job opportunities in the multimedia program, you can do a wide range um, outside of university when you graduate. You can do journalism, you can do game design, sound design, graphic design, just general coding, photography, videography, and just overall any type of art form really. So in terms of the communication side of the program, you can go into risk management, crisis communications, public relations, social media marketing. You can go into research analysis and public relations and social media and marketing and advertising. I lived in residence first year, which I do recommend because it's great to just kind of live near the school your first year and kind of make friends that way. So I really do recommend residence. And I did live off, comp off campus in Hamilton for two years in student housing with my friends. And I would recommend if you could, if you live in Hamilton, I would say to commute from home. The, the housing area in Hamilton isn't great compared to other Canadian universities. So if you can travel from home, I would recommend that um, because the busing system in Hamilton is actually great and you can get to school in a decent amount of time if you plan accordingly. In the snow and then in the stormy time, it does get very busy with the bus system. So I would recommend to make sure you plan ahead to make sure, make sure you uh, get home and you arrive to your classes on time. The student life at McMaster is great because there's so many different clubs. In my undergraduate um, journey, I t was in two major clubs. I was a general member of McMaster Improv, which I enjoyed. I did that for one year. And then for two years, I was an executive member of the McMaster Tamil Students Association, which I used my skills in the multimedia program to be the uh, marketing executive for two years. So that was really great. And in terms of a party culture, I would say that there definitely is a party culture in McMaster. It may not be as large as other universities in Ontario, but if you, you know, network and connect, you can definitely find some really fun things to do outside of just studying. There's a lot of clubbing events, as well as just, uh, you know, parties that you can attend during the holiday time. So McMaster is very, very diverse and specifically my program, um, Communications and Multimedia, is very diverse and I'm so happy about that because for me, I have always uh, thrived in diverse groups. And the communications faculty is actually more predominantly uh, girls and female students. And um, even though the university is majority white, I would say that there's still a lot of minorities here. And um, in terms of my multimedia program, it was actually like um, pretty even split between boys and girls students and a very diverse faculty. And I would say there are a lot of international students who come to McMaster for various programs, but I would say it's a great variety of ethnic groups and visible, my visible minorities and um, a, great, a great school to come uh, for all, all backgrounds, I would say. So my master does have a lot of support groups and student services to help students who are either dealing with mental health, um, a part of the LGBTQ community, or just need general um, information in regards to you know being successful in university. And I and I would say um, there are you know there is that access for students. You do kind of have to go out of your way to reach for it. But there are a lot of different programs on the McMaster website that will help students out there. Who, who, need, who need the assistance. The advice I would give to any first year student is to not stay in your dorm room or stay inside 
all four years of your undergraduate journey. This is a, an amazing time in your life. I would say my university experience has been one of the most amazing things that's ever happened to me. I, I've been so happy and grateful to meet the friends that I've had. And I would never have met them if I just you know, stayed in my room all day. Uh, I would say I go to as much clubs as you can. Find a studying pattern that works for you, a routine that works for you. My number one tip is to write down every single um, assignment, exam, paper, project that you have due and outline that in either a calendar, a calendar or an agenda or a notepad and have everything laid out before the semester even begins. Even during syllabus week when you get everything handed to you. And I would say that was probably my biggest tip going into um, undergrad and going into first year is to make sure you're really organized and you know what assignments are due. So I hope you found this video helpful for you if you are interested in the multimedia or communications program or both. And if you have any further questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram at Abzara. And uh, good luck to all the grade 12 students who are applying as long as you're committed and you have passion. I have no doubt that you guys will get accepted.